Hello everybody and welcome back and now before we continue to the next tutorial where I will actually show you some of the exploits that you can run on Metasploitable uh, let me just show you real quick what PHP code injection is now it is very similar to the previous lecture where we covered the OS command injection but right now let us open the same page so it is located on the BWAP on our OS virtual machine go right here and find the PHP code, uh, code injection. Once you click on that, click here on hack. And here you have a simple page which basically just says this is just a test page reflecting back your message. So if we just type here message or just click on the message, it will say test. If we click on the message once again, it will once again say test. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, there isn't any input right here which we can input our code. Well, that's true, but if we actually try to intercept this uh, with our burp suit, so open up your burp suit and click here on the intercept on. We want to have the intercept on, and once again, if you click here on the message, it will show us a packet that we sent to the web server. Now, it looks very normal until you notice that there is actually a user input right here. So this is not something that you have a form to input on the website, but if you intercept the packet, you can actually input it right here. So what I mean by that, right now, since this is a PHP code injection, we need to use a function, system, and then open up your brackets, and then let's type pwd, which is print working directory. So we just type that right here. So system pwd, that is a function that we will print our working directory. And we forward this packet, you will see that we no longer get the test as a result, but we get the uh, current working directory of that virtual machine, or basically of our OS virtual machine. And just like that, we can now know that the server is vulnerable to the PHP code injection. So what we can do from there, we can actually perform the same type of the attack as we performed in the previous video. So I will show you. If we click on the message once again and intercept the next packet, you can actually just uh, uh, download the shell.php the same way we downloaded it from the previous video. So what you would do, but in this case you would do system first and then open up your brackets and then type the same uh, command, so we get 192.168.1.15, or basically here you would specify your own IP address, since uh, if you're running, of course, Apache on your Kali Linux machine, if you're running Apache 2 on some other machine, you would specify the IP address of that other machine that is hosting the Apache 2 with our shell.php file. And you also need to add slash shell dot php so it knows which file to download from there and only you, what you need to do from there is close the quotes and then close the brackets once you do that you just need to forward this packet and this packet and this basically will let us just turn the intercept off and what this will do is it will basically download the shell.php to the target machine as it did in the previous video so right now if I just up here ls once again and I go right here and then system open brackets ls close quotes close brackets and then I forward it as same in the previous video right now if I go right here we should be able to find the shell.php file so here it is right here we can see that we successfully uploaded the shell.php onto our target web server and right now what you would do is basically just click on the message once again and what you would do is type here system and then uh, the next thing you would do is basically php so php minus f and then shell.php you would close the quotes close the brackets and then you would forward this packet as well now this what this will do this will basically so let me just close this this will basically connect to our own the listening machine which is our Kali Linux machine and it will prompt us with a meterpreter shell now it won't connect since I didn't really open up my metasploit framework and didn't specify the L host and L port and that exploit multi handler that we did in the previous video so it really won't connect anywhere at the moment but I just wanted to show you the exact same process that we did in the previous video just with the PHP code injection. 
If you want to try to exploit it, you can do what I said with this, and but before you run the program itself, with the last command, which was the php -f and then the shell.php, you want to specify this listener in our Metasploit framework. Now, we the specifying the listener is the same as in the previous video, so I will not be covering that at the moment. Now, in the next video, what I will show you is how you can actually use some of the attacks and exploit Metasploitable. Since I can't really run Metasploitable, I will only show you the process uh, to get to exploit it. I will not be really exploiting it since it doesn't work here. And I, uh, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope I see you in the next one. Bye!